A piece of history that was once hidden away has now been restored to its former glory. Pauline Lee is live in Appleton to check it out. Good morning, Pauline. Well, good morning. I'm standing right in front of it. Just take a look. It's back shining again, but I want to show you just how long <laughs> this mail pouch is. It is super long, and I'm here with Nick from the History Museum at the castle. Nick, you were telling me this used to be the outside of the building next door. Yeah, yeah. So many of these commercial buildings would have been built uh, attached right to the outside of the building next door. So when this building was built in 1892 by Charles Party, it's very likely that um, this was covered and probably uh, covered right around then. It would have been probably painted sometime in the early 1890s. So it didn't have a very long lifespan Aww. outdoors. <clears throat> Tell me a little bit about how these signs were used back then. Well, this was really early advertising. It's kind of like a billboard today, but these things were all over downtown. Uh, people can go to our Facebook page for the History Museum at the Castle. We have a couple images that we found of some of these big signs downtown. Mm -hmm. And you were mentioning before, this was covered up when this building, formerly known as the Conkey's Bookstore Building, was built. But Conkey's has a very long history as well. Yeah, yeah. Conkey's originally started as an insurance company. By, but by about 1890, we start to see that they're also selling books and stationery. And they moved around a lot downtown. But they didn't move into this location until 1958. Wow. We have some pictures and some video to show you as well. You were saying there's a sign painter that Yeah, there? very briefly around 1920, there was actually a guy who professionally painted these signs named William Miller who lived in this building. Now, he didn't paint this one, but right. he probably did a couple of the signs downtown. Mm -hmm. And so Conkey's, again, I mean, it changed 10 times, would you say? Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah, it moved all over the place. Or businesses that were located yes. here, yeah, this building. Um, originally was supposed to be a grocery store, but it was a Christian science reading room, a jewelry store. It changed at least 10 times by 1920. So uh, there were businesses constantly coming and going from here. And when did Conkey's come in? Conkey's came in in 1958, but uh, it closed about 2009. And it was a really beloved bookstore in downtown. Although it really was known as the party building originally, uh, I think everybody's always going to know it as the Conkey's bookstore building. <laughs> right. And of course, now it's being restored, and we have a great piece of artwork to show. Nick also mentioned before, there are other special signs downtown. We'll be chatting about those and where you can find those a little bit later on this morning, guys. I'm just so glad somebody found that and mm -hmm. pulled the plaster away to uncover it. So cool. Spent so much time mm -hmm. at Conkey's Bookstore growing up. Yeah. That's really neat. Thanks, Pauline. History yeah. takes flight.